space is undeniably one of the most mysterious and fascinating frontiers known to humankind. It's full of wonder, brimming with cosmic phenomena that have reshaped and augmented the way we understand the very mechanics of science. If you thought you'd have to look far and wide across the vast universe to find some of the strangest planetary properties, think again. Our own solar system holds plenty of incredible oddities right in our cosmic backyard. The planets orbiting our sun aren't just inert balls of rock or gas, they're dynamic, complex, and, in some cases, downright bizarre. One of the most awe-inspiring and mind-bending planets we can comprehend is none other than Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun Jupiter, with its immense size and peculiarities, has captivated scientists and astronomers for centuries. Not only is it the largest planet in the solar system, but it also harbors some of the most complex and otherworldly characteristics that challenge our understanding of planetary science. Jupiter isn't just the largest planet, it's a cosmic heavyweight, towering above the rest of the planets in terms of mass and volume. To put it into perspective, Jupiter is so massive that all the other planets in the solar system could fit inside it, twice. This gas giant is one of the most intriguing subjects of planetary science, filled with swirling storms, enormous bands of clouds, and crushing gravity. But despite being one of the most studied planets, its secrets remain largely veiled. Even with our advanced technology and decades of space exploration, we still haven't fully unlocked the mysteries of this giant. Jupiter holds a key position in the cosmic kaleidoscope of our solar system, sitting like a king amidst its planetary neighbors. And so, it begs the question, what would happen if you, a brave cosmic traveler, were to fall into Jupiter? Buckle up, because this is going to be quite the journey. Welcome back, Internet. It's great to have you here. As always, I'm Jack Finch, your inquisitive host, guiding you through yet another one of life's biggest questions. Today, we're diving deep into the massive, enigmatic, and utterly strange world of Jupiter. Specifically, we're asking, what if you fell into Jupiter? Now, before we embark on this wild hypothetical adventure, let's set the stage. For those curious about space, and especially about the strange clip we referenced earlier, that was from the 1997 movie Asterisk Contact Asterisk, starring Jodie Foster. Why mention Asterisk Contact Asterisk? Well, aside from it being an amazing movie, it's because it's impossible to truly visualize what falling into Jupiter would look like. The reason? Jupiter has an uncanny ability to obliterate, melt, and consume anything that comes too close to its surface, making real footage or imagery of such an event a dream or nightmare beyond our current technology. NASA has been studying Jupiter for decades, sending unmanned probes to gather data and survey the planet from a safe distance. However, every probe sent toward the gas giant has met a destructive end. NASA's best efforts began in the 1960s, and although many probes have given us invaluable information, none have come close to fully unveiling the mysteries lurking within Jupiter's atmosphere. So, why is it so dangerous? Why does Jupiter seem like such an inhospitable place, even for robotic explorers? Before we explore what would happen if you fell into Jupiter, let's take a closer look at why Jupiter is so fascinating and so dangerous. Jupiter is classified as a gas giant, which means it doesn't have a solid surface like Earth or Mars. Instead, it's primarily made of gases, hydrogen and helium, to be exact, along with other elements that exist in unique and extreme conditions. Jupiter is often compared to Saturn, its fellow gas giant neighbor, but in many ways, Jupiter reigns supreme in terms of size, density, and the sheer complexity of its atmosphere. Jupiter's mass is roughly one one-thousandth that of the Sun, but when it comes to its place within the solar system, it's an absolute behemoth. In fact, Jupiter contains more than two and a half times the mass of all the other planets in the solar system combined. It's a giant among giants, a cosmic heavyweight that draws attention due to its staggering scale and the mysteries that shroud its composition. To put it simply, when compared to the Sun, Jupiter is small, but compared to the rest of the planets, it's an unstoppable force that dominates the solar system like no other. However, it's not just Jupiter's size that makes it so intriguing. Its bizarre properties go far beyond what we know about planets like Earth or Mars. One of the strangest aspects of Jupiter is that, while we often describe it as being made of gas and liquid, that's not entirely accurate. Gas giants like Jupiter defy the typical categorizations we use for matter. 
Thanks to their massive size, they exert immense pressures and temperatures on the matter within them, causing it to exist in a state that's neither a gas nor a liquid. Instead, Jupiter's atmosphere is primarily composed of what is known as a supercritical fluid. This unique state of matter exhibits properties of both gases and liquids but doesn't fit neatly into either category. This phenomenon is a result of the critical point in thermodynamics, which is far beyond our everyday experience of how matter behaves. Understanding supercritical fluids and the extreme conditions on Jupiter is essential for imagining what it would be like to fall into the planet. It's not as simple as falling through the sky and landing on a surface. Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface. Instead, as you descend deeper into the planet's atmosphere, the gases and liquids transition into this supercritical state, creating an environment that would be completely alien to us. In short, Jupiter is a place where the laws of physics, as we understand them on Earth, begin to blur. So, if you were to take a leap into Jupiter, the journey would be unlike anything you've ever imagined. Now, let's get to the crux of our question, what would happen if you actually fell into Jupiter? Without a highly advanced, impenetrable spacesuit, you wouldn't make it far. Before you even reach Jupiter's upper atmosphere, you'd be exposed to extreme levels of radiation, enough to kill you long before you ever set foot, or rather, drifted, into the planet itself. Jupiter emits massive amounts of radiation, much more than Earth, thanks to its powerful magnetic field. This radiation alone would be enough to ravage your body, ensuring that you wouldn't survive the fall. In fact, you'd likely perish before you even got within 300,000 kilometers of Jupiter's first atmosphere. It's a grim fate, but Jupiter is not a planet that's hospitable to life, or even to human-made technology. The closest any man-made object has ever gotten to Jupiter was the Galileo probe, which met its end in 2003. After eight years of orbiting and studying Jupiter's moons, Galileo was deliberately sent plunging into Jupiter's atmosphere at over 30 miles per second. The probe, which had gathered invaluable data on the planet, was designed to withstand a lot of stress, but even it couldn't survive the plunge. It disintegrated within minutes of entering Jupiter's atmosphere, consumed by the gas giant's immense gravitational forces and extreme atmospheric pressures. Galileo's mission was over, and it was never heard from again. But what if, hypothetically, you had an indestructible spacesuit, a suit that could withstand the impossible conditions of Jupiter? Let's imagine that for a moment. In this scenario, you begin your descent at the top of Jupiter's atmosphere where the pressure is relatively similar to Earth's surface pressure. Here, you'd be falling through Jupiter's white ammonia clouds, still able to see the sun peeking through. But don't get too comfortable. It's incredibly cold, with temperatures around minus 150 degrees Celsius. And thanks to Jupiter's massive gravitational pull, you'd be falling much faster than you would on Earth, about 2.5 times faster, to be exact. If not for the advanced technology of your spacesuit, the frictional heating caused by your rapid descent would turn you into a flaming ball of plasma. But let's assume your suit is equipped with a parachute, allowing you to slow down to a reasonable speed, about 100 meters per second. At this point, you might even have a moment to appreciate the surreal view. You'd be falling through endless clouds of ammonia, an experience that could almost be relaxing if not for the freezing temperatures and the knowledge that you're plunging into a planet where nothing can survive. After about five minutes, you'd reach the next layer of Jupiter's atmosphere, where the pressure is twice that of Earth's surface. Here, the clouds would change from white ammonia to the brownish tint of ammonium hydrosulfide. Your body would start to feel the effects of the increasing pressure, and it's likely that the liquids in your body would begin to decompress rapidly, causing intense pain and discomfort. Hopefully, you've cleared your inner ears and sinuses, as the pressure would wreak havoc on your body otherwise. Ten minutes into your fall, you'd have descended even deeper into Jupiter's atmosphere, where the pressure is now for times that of Earth's sea level. The temperature here is still frigid, hovering around minus 40 degrees Celsius, and you'd be passing through clouds of water ice. The sun's faint glow would disappear, plunging you into complete darkness. As the pressure and temperature continue to rise, your suit is the only thing keeping you alive, protecting you from the lethal gases and extreme conditions. Without it, you'd be breathing in dangerous levels of nitrogen, and the risk of oxygen toxicity would become all too real. After 30 minutes of falling, you'd be in the deep, dark recesses of Jupiter's atmosphere. 
the cold temperatures would give way to intense heat as you approach. The planet's lower atmosphere. Temperatures would soar to over 200 degrees Celsius, and the crushing pressure would be unbearable. Even if your suit could somehow keep you alive through this, the deeper you go, the more hostile the environment becomes. Eventually, you'd reach a point where the atmospheric pressure reaches millions of bars, and the temperature skyrockets to thousands of degrees, hotter than the surface of the sun. By this point, your body would be crushed, boiled, and disintegrated into its most basic elements. You'd become one with the planet, entombed forever in the heart of Jupiter, a cosmic traveler lost to the depths of this giant gas world. In conclusion, falling into Jupiter is not a pleasant or survivable experience. The gas giant is a world of extremes, with its immense gravity, crushing pressures, and searing heat. Jupiter may be a wonder of our solar system, but it's also a place where the rules of physics, as we know them, break down. Even with the most advanced technology, the journey into Jupiter is a one-way ticket to oblivion. So, while we can dream of exploring distant worlds, for now, it's safe to say that Jupiter is best admired from afar, a very, very afar.